Hi, this is Charlie Montefiello with Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, you can find us on BlueBearFlutes.com. Our Facebook is under Blue Bear Flutes as well as Instagram and probably everywhere else on the web. Anyway, uh, today I just wanted to give you a really quick tip on how to play your flute in tune and in harmony with nature. There are so many um, flute makers, I guess I should say, out there and a lot of other people who aren't flute makers who promote different frequencies and how important these frequencies are with playing with Mother Nature. Of course, the frequencies I'm speaking of are 432 hertz, which is considered to be an earth tone frequency, which has something to do with the Schumann resonance. If you look up Schumann resonance and find out that uh, the lowest tone is 7.8 hertz, and you calculate that up six octaves, it's actually 422 point something, not 432. But people round it off to 8 hertz, making it 432 somewhere down the road. Anyway, um, the difference between 10 hertz in frequency at the 400 range is quite vast compared to our human hearing of 7.8 to 8 hertz. Uh, we can't even hear 7.8 hertz frequency range, so we just kind of modify it and place it to our own whim, and here we are. Anyway, another one that I like is the 528 hertz frequency, which is something that it has to do with sulfagio tuning. These are things you can look up yourself and do a little bit more research on to find out how vast and accurate or inaccurate anything might be. It's also said that 440 hertz is something that is uh, like their way of, of uh, making you disharmonious with the planet. Disharmony actually is you standing out of line saying this is disharmonious. It's unfortunate that it is like that. I don't know if any of you have ever read the books or seen the movie 1984 or know anything about the different ideas of, of uh, discontinuity or disharmony with the world and the systems. But unfortunately, those disharmonies sometimes are what make us great. They really are. Uh, my uh, favorite character, of course, from 1984, he wasn't uh, uh, in harmony with the general consensus of the people. And that's why he's the lead character and what it is that we aspire to be in the, the movie and then also, uh, of course, uh, in the book. As well as so many others like Equilibrium, which is a, really another uh, favorite movie of mine that had to do with the whole idea and concept. It's when you stand out of line, like right now, that makes you the one that stands out, not uh, when you are in line with everybody else doing the same thing. Originally, probably what it was, it caused people to want to look into the 432 hertz because it was different. Um, honestly, you know, you can be disharmonious with everything, still be in harmony with nature, and likewise, vice versa. The reason I'm telling you this is because with the flute, any flute, any musical instrument, the Native American flute, um, how you play determines the frequency. I want you to watch my tuner. I'm going to play this flute, which is in the key of A, and I'm going to play it and show you the settings on my, my little Korg CA2 tuner I've got here. You can try it with any. You can try it with cell phone app or whatever. Um, but I'm going to show you on this tuner how my playing determines how uh, the frequency of this flute sounds and how it comes out. So take a look at this. So this is 432 hertz tuning. Does that sound any more pleasant or harmonious than 440 tuning? Or this is 444 which is 444A, basically the same as 528 hertz C. You know, if you put them on the same scale, the C note, you'll notice it'll pop up at 528 hertz there. But uh, 444A is 528 hertz C. And what this basically tells you is the amount of air that I use when I'm playing the flute controls how in tune the flute is. I have made recordings of my own music playing a flute that was 432 hertz tune with background music that was 440 tune. And one of my favorites is playing a 528 hertz tune flute to music that is 440 tune. 440 and 528 hertz C, which is 444A, are so close that the, the intonations are not off enough that you can really tell. 
But as an experienced flute player, I've been playing for 32 years of my life just the flute, not to mention so many other instruments. But as an experienced flute player, I can tell you that it is in my nature to want to play in tune with another instrument. So unless the flute is just really way off, like if it's just some range that's way out there, usually I can play it in tune with another instrument. And if it is way out there, I can actually find a way to play it in tune with that instrument. But if it's 440 music and I'm playing with a 432 hertz flute, I blow a little harder and that makes the notes go in tune. Um, it's just something I do naturally. And honestly, it's not just me, it's everybody. Everybody really has a tendency to play this in tune. Um, that's where I'm standing in line. But this little notion here of telling you about this might be my way of getting out of line just for a minute. Anyway, I hope this uh, video has helped you guys in some way and certainly you gals as well. Uh, learn more about not only the Native American flute, but how to play the flute, how to play it accurately, well, and with these other frequencies. And of course, when we make a 432 hertz tuned flute, I make it so that it plays at a specific constant breath at 432 hertz. I've gotten responses back from people saying, oh wow, this flute plays beautifully at 432 hertz. And some people that even when I send a 440 out that's been concert tuned, they say, oh, it doesn't play perfectly concert tuned 440. Uh, this has to do with how accurate the uh, player, how experienced usually in most cases the player is, and how much they're striving to play that particular intonation. It's true, if I send a flute that was tuned to 432 hertz to someone that wanted to uh, to play at 432 hertz, but they're a concert musician and all they've ever played was 440 their whole life, they're probably going to tend to play a little harder and get that 440 to come out, just like I showed you on the tuner just now. But uh, honestly, like I say, it's something anybody can do, and I can play just about any flute that is tuned 440 to 432 or to 528, and vice versa with each of the other two intonations. Like I said, hope this helps you guys out some. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. In the uh, comments here, or better yet, send me a message on my website, bluebearfoods.com. There's a contact form at the bottom of most pages. Many people find it convenient to contact us through Facebook. And, and once in a while, we get people contact us through Instagram as well, because we post a lot of pictures there. And I say we, but usually it's my wife, Jessie, posting those, and most everything else on our social media. I hope you guys take care. Enjoy your flute playing. Uh, find a way to enjoy it. That's the most important thing, not how perfectly in tune it is because really, a lot of that's up to you, especially with the wind instrument. Y'all take care. I'll stop talking now. Happy flute playing, flute making. Once again, Charlie Montotriello with Blue Bear Flute signing out. See you soon.